Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyOT's video on how to clone a Mac hard drive running OSX Mountain Lion or Lion. Okay guys, so what effectively what we're going to do is we're actually going to clone a uh, hard drive uh, from a Mac hard drive on a, on a laptop to a USB or an external WD drive. Okay. Now why would we want to do this? We might want to actually co um, copy an image from one machine to another. Um, we might just want to do a straight backup. We might also just want to reload or try reloading a different operating system to this HG drive and but still keep our, a copy of our old system on an external drive. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in to our utilities and we're going to click on disk utility and we're going to prepare the external drive to be able to copy a clone to. Alright, so we're going to click on here. So as you can see, this is 250 gigabytes is the uh, internal Mac drive and the external USB drive is 500. Now it doesn't need to necessarily be bigger, but it's always good to have more space on your drive that you're copying data to. Um, so you've got plenty of room there. All right, and we're going to go and click on partition. All right. Click up the top here and go to partition again. We want to go to options. We want to make it a GUID partition table, and this will allow us a little bit later on to um, boot into the USB drive. Um, because we can copy all the data to the USB drive, but then we need this part here to be able to actually boot into that USB drive. All right, and then click OK. We'll change this and we'll call it WD. All right, uh, set the format to Mac OS extern uh, Extended Journaled, and then Apply, Partition. Right. We'll just give that a second to Partition. Usually takes about maybe one minute, I guess, depending on the speed of your machine. Okay, there it is. So we don't want to use it as a backup drive. Okay, so it's done there now. So what we want to do, guys, do we want to just close the disk utility and close that? Now we need to download the the app that we're going to use to clone the drive, okay? And to do that, we're going to use Carbon Copy Cloner, okay? And if you want to get a copy of that, you can browse to my website, which is 123myit, and there's a direct link on the download section. So we want to click on 123myit, your complete IT help portal. All right. Now there's lots of other tutorials on here, so have a look around, but for now I want you to go into Downloads. Scroll down and then you'll see Carbon Copy Downloads for Mac only. And then we want the first link here, Carbon Copy Cloner 3.5.2 works with Snow Leopard, Lion and Mountain Lion. Um, also, if you, have a, if you have an older operating system like Leopard or Tiger, you can use this, this one here. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and downloaded that one, and I've got a copy of it here, so we'll run the Carbon Copy Cloner. We want to click on Trial. Alright, we want to select a source, so we want to copy the Mac HD, and we want to copy it to the external WD drive. Alright, we then need to go in and make sure this is selected, delete anything that doesn't exist in the source and then we want to click on clone. All right, you should get a prompt then, which says if you intend to use the destination volume as a primary startup disk, you should create a recovery HD partition on that disk. And this part's important because this is what I mentioned earlier, we want to be able to boot into the USB drive so then we can restore that, uh, that data at a later stage. So click on open disk center, All right, and then we want to just click on create a recovery partition for this volume. 
All right, put in your password there. All right, it might take a little while. It might take up to, depending on the speed of your machine, could take anywhere from two minutes to five minutes. Okay, and there you go, it says the recovery HD volume has been successfully cloned. So we click OK. And just close that one. All right, and we're going to se uh, select our destination again, which is the WD HD. And we're going to hit clone. All right, it says this task may delete some files on or folders on your from WD. Once the files or folder have been deleted, they will not be recoverable. Are you sure you want to continue? Okay, let me just check. Just make sure, yep, that's still ticked. Okay, clone. And then we want to continue. All right, now as you can see, it's copying or it's cloning that Mac HD straight over to your WD or your USB drive. Okay, and you can stop that. So this uh, will take a little while. So I'm gonna uh, pause the, the video and I'll start it back up um, once it's complete. All right, see you soon. Okay guys, so you can see there that it says that the backup completed successfully. I'm going to click OK. And we're just going to go in and check our <coughs> USB drive. Right there it is there. For some reason it's on top of the, the other drive there. Okay, so we've got the WD drive there. I'm going to go in and check what files it has on it now. Okay, so it essentially has the exact same files that are on our Mac HD now. Okay, all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, just stop the recording again. I'm going to start a, um, a uh, I'm going to put the webcam on and I'm going to record. I'm just going to show you how to actually boot into this um, USB drive now and then we'll, we'll restore the copy that we've just uh, taken. Okay, just give me one second. Okay guys, so um, what we've done is we've left the USB drive plugged in, we've held down the option or the alt button on your, key on your keyboard and then we've come to this boot screen. Okay, and as you can see we've got two options as the USB drives there. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to use our arrow keys go across the USB drive and boot directly into that okay. one. And now essentially what this is doing is it's booting into that USB drive that we've just cloned. Alright, so it's brought up our password there. And at this stage you'll see your USB drive um, flashing away and obviously your USB drive will be a bit slower um, than what your your normal HD drive would be that's that's on the machine. Okay, and there we go, guys. So we can see that it's, it's popped up there now. And if we were out, if we were going to format this Mac HD, we wouldn't have any problems formatting that. We could go ahead and format it, and uh, we could um, put a new operating system on there, and we would still have this WD operating system here. Um, so the last thing that I want to show you now is if we go into downloads and we run the carbon copy again, hit trial, all right, and we're literally just going to do it the other way now. So if we wanted to restore a copy of that USB drive back to the Mac HD, we would, our source would be WD, Okay, and then our destination would be the Mac HD. Exact same thing again, so delete anything that doesn't exist on the source and then clone. And then you would just reboot your machine. You can also, uh, if you go into your go, go menu here and go down to, oh, sorry, if you go into system preferences. And go into startup disk, all right, and you can actually select in here which disk you want to start up. So rather than holding down the Alt button each time that you boot into the operating system, 
um, you can actually select which disk you want to do and then restart it and then from then on it will be the disk that it always boots into alright guys so I hope that hope that was helpful for you um, if, if you found this uh, tutorial uh, helpful please leave a thumbs up on the website um, and please uh, share the video and um, if it was helpful uh, feel free to leave some feedback if you have any issues thanks guys bye bye